and welcome back to a brand new exciting video. My name is Greg and in the next 60 seconds I'm going to be teaching you guys how to achieve this awesome trippy blurred edge effect. So guys without further ado let's chuck 60 seconds on the clock. So guys once you're in Premiere you're going to want to create an adjustment layer. You're going to want to place this on top of your video and you're going to want to cut it to the correct length of your video. Let's go to the effects tab and type in VR digital glitch. Drag this onto your adjustment layer and head over to the effects controls panel. So guys you're going to want to open up the distortion tab and drag geometry distortion x down to 0 and distortion complexity down to 1 as well as distortion rate down to 0 as well. All you have to do is mess around with the color distortion to get a distorted look that you like and you can also change the color evolution to change your distortion color as well. And now guys we're going to mask out the center so that it is clear. To do this we create an ellipse mask and we're going to drag the mask edges out to the sides of the video. Now we must make the mask feather 250 and click on the inverted button. So guys this will leave the center of the clip clear and the outside very distorted. Now let's head over to the effects tab and search for lens distortion. Drag that on and go to the effects control panel. We need to change the curvature to around negative 15 and what this will do is it will distort the edges of your video. Now let's create a new adjustment layer, resize it and place it on top of the previous one. Next let's search for the fast blur effect and place it on our adjustment layer. Head over to the effects control panel and change the blurriness to around 20 and make sure that you guys select repeat edge pixels. This will essentially clean up your video and make the edges look like they originally did. Also play around with the blur dimension to get your desired effect. Let's clear out the center again with the ellipse mask. Once you've created a new ellipse mask pull the mask edges to the sides of your video. All we have to do now is change the mask feather to 250 and click on inverted. There you guys have it that's all for today. Uh, I'm pretty sure I went way over 60 seconds but nevertheless if you guys enjoyed that video please don't forget to give it a thumbs up smash that subscribe button to stay up to date uh, new videos every Wednesday and Saturday and I'll see you guys in the next one